Hi, uh, I was asked to say a few words about um, the FIRA Ultra Women use case uh, roadmap. So let me say a few words about the process uh, that uh, FIRA is applying to define this use case roadmap. In summer 2020, the FIRA requirements working group conducted a survey among all FIRA members to list and define top priority use cases. Based on this analysis, FIAR created the ultra women use case roadmap specifying the near-term and long-term focus for the work items that FIAR consortium would focus on. The criteria were maturity of the ongoing projects, complexity of the implementation, relevance, urgency to solve a present problem. I'm really happy to say that the working group identified more than 35 relevant use cases and it's very clear that more will follow as uh, time passes by. The use cases are classified along four main categories. Smart city and mobility use cases. The top use cases in that category were indoor navigation, where for instance people can easily navigate from one location to another while inside a facility or using a high fidelity real-time indoor positioning. Ticket validation for public transport uh, services and electronic uh, ID validation in a crowded environment. The second category was smart home and consumer. Of the top three use cases there were residential access control, point and trigger control app, which uh, means that for instance, a user could use his smartphone or a remote control to point at a specific device to have a device control application uh, show up. The third category was smart retail use cases, unmanned, unmanned store access, a tap-free payment, uh, which makes it possible for people to just pay hands-free by leaving their uh, phone into their pocket or into their bag. And finally, a smart build and industrial, where free use cases really made the top list. Logical access, where uh, for production safety uh, purpose, for instance, the tool or facility is locked when users equipped with ultra-enabled devices leave the predefined uh, uh, safe zone asset tracking, and also social distancing. Uh, if you want to more, know, know more about all these use cases, I strongly encourage you to visit the Fiori Consortium website. Uh, you can uh, see there all the 35 uh, use cases. And as you have heard from uh, the different categories that I just described, access control really uh, seems to be one of the key use cases that serves as a catalyst uh, for uh, what you can do with uh, ultra wideband and this is one of the key reasons why in the fear consortium we really focused on uh, residential and industrial access as the first uh, use case that we uh, we're specifying thank you for your time and again uh, go and uh, check the uh, fear consortium webpage